Do you have a drill with turbo? And do you need one? We'll find out in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. Today we have the Flex 24 volt model FX1271T. Now this is their half inch hammer drill, specifically their half inch 24 volt hammer drill with turbo mode. What does turbo mode do? Well, it gives you a little bit more boost when you need it just by pushing a button. Now let's quit talking about the details and let's dig into the details. Yeah, let's take a closer look at each one of these features. We'll talk about the specs and then we'll actually use this. We're gonna do some, uh, some self-feed auger bits uh, as well as drive some fasteners as well just to see what type of power we can develop with the Flex 24 volt drill. You see the impact driver here. We've actually already tested that. You can buy this as a combo unit. We'll talk about pricing and warranty in, in a moment as well when we wrap this up. But let's get to the specs, then we'll jump into the action and then we'll come back and as you know it, wrap it up. As we mentioned, this is the brand new Flex 24 volt FX1271T and it is their half inch hammer drill. Now let me go ahead and take off this uh, secondary handle here or uh, it's got the clamp style on it, so they're very easy to put on and remove, and it's ambidextrous. It'll go on left or right-hand side. This is a two-speed drill. We have speed one as well as speed two. However, we also have the turbo mode down here. So you can see it's a soft button down here that you can push, light that up, and we know we're in turbo mode. Gives you kind of a turbo boost, a little more current, a little more uh, power, if you will. We'll talk about the speeds here in just one moment. Now you also get a 24 plus position clutch, meaning you get 24 clutch positions when uh, driving, but then you also have hammer mode, drill mode, and screw mode. So obviously that clutch is gonna come in to work when we're in screw mode and drill mode, it's gonna lock that out as well as in hammer, hammer mode, it'll lock it out as well. And we'll get the hammering effect for, uh, for masonry, for uh, drilling tap cons, drilling and setting tap cons, et cetera. This is a half inch keyless chuck. It is a Jacobs clutch, so all steel. Uh, you can see the Jacobs insignia right there. So glad to see that. That's great components on this drill. So very nice half inch chuck on this. You can see on the back, it shows the brushless insignia. So brushless motor and turbo, meaning this is the turbo model as well. As we mentioned, it's running on their 24 volt platform. We've talked about their batteries uh, the past couple of times. We talked about flex. Just a great setup here where you can easily see uh, the indication on how much charge is left in that battery. You can see that from a mile away actually. So just push the button right here on the front and it's gonna let you know by illuminating those four different cells or four different LEDs right there on the battery pack. I have a typical directional lever right here below the head and behind the trigger where you can shift from reverse to forward. And then we get a variable speed trigger as well. So you can see I can go about as slow as I want and speed that up. Now in speed one, we're looking at zero to 550 RPM. So I can make that just about crawl with that variable speed trigger and go all the way up to 550 RPMs. And then in speed two, we're gonna go from zero to 2000 RPMs. Now, here's the kicker though. If we go into turbo mode, so you hear this right now, speed two, 2000 RPMs. If we go into turbo, we're gonna pick up another 500 RPM. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this 7 8 inch uh, self-feeding auger bit. Gonna chuck it up in our drill here. You can hear that ratcheting sound of that Jacob's chuck. And then we're gonna be in speed two. We're not gonna be in turbo mode and we're gonna see how easy it will pull this in and drill the hole. And how about we turn that off of hammer mode and into drill mode? We'll do that again. Pulls it in rather easily. And that's PT four by four. Okay, let's go into turbo mode. See how much quicker this is. Again, we'll shift out of turbo. And back to turbo. Let's 
So no problem whatsoever. Even in speed two, we don't have to shift to speed one for that seven eighths inch auger. Let's change this out and use that to a nine sixteenths inch auger. Okay, we've got a piece of two by 12 pressure treated in here. We're gonna change out our seven eighths inch auger and we're gonna put in our two and nine sixteenths inch auger. Again, that ratcheting chuck, lock that in, turn it back and it clicks into place. Lock that in. Okay, now here's the kicker. We're gonna go out of turbo, so we're not in turbo mode, and we're gonna see if in speed two, it will actually turn this through. There's not a lot of drill drivers that will actually accomplish this test. Two and nine sixteenths inch self-feed bit, and here we go. I couldn't get it to clear the chips fast enough, but it made it through. It did stop the one time. So we're gonna do that again. Again, this is not turbo mode. Now I'm gonna to try to give a little more force. Okay, without turbo, doesn't seem that it can do it. It gets most of the way through and it stops. So I'm gonna go to turbo and then we're gonna see if we can get it to go through. Let's do that one more time. This is in turbo mode, speed two. Looks like we may be pushing the limits here. We've dropped one cell on the battery. There we go. Okay, so one more time in speed two, and we'll turn turbo mode on with the two and nine sixteenths inch self-feed bit. Okay, it looks like turbo mode turns itself off after using it, maybe when it gets too hot, uh, because it's blink it blinks a couple of times and then turns off, does not let me turn turbo mode on. So apparently after it senses that it's kind of locked, or since it's kind of reached a peak, uh, that it doesn't allow you to turn that back on. Now we'll see in speed one. Okay, let's take it over and let's actually drive some screws. Okay, so now we've got two pieces of four by four pressure treated lumber and we're gonna take these seven inch fasteners and drive them into this PT and see if we can do it. Now, in the drilling situation, we use turbo mode. In this situation, we're just gonna use speed two, no turbo assist and see if we can drive these five fasteners into this pressure treated lumber. No pre-drilled holes at all. So we're gonna drive, we're gonna drill and drive with these. Here we go. That blew out the side. 
By the way, I've still got my finger on this trigger. Do you see when it actually jerked it, it shut the drill down. So that's that safety feature built into there. Again, once it jerked it sideways, it shut the unit off. I still have my finger on the trigger. And last one. Again, I'm letting it twist sideways, and as soon as it does, it stops the power to that unit. Do that one more time. And again, my finger is still in the trigger. We created quite a bit of shrapnel with the FX1271T in the shop today. Uh, the hammer drill did really well. We didn't use it in masonry yet. Uh, we did obviously drill some holes. We drove some fasteners. Driving the fasteners was no problem at all. Again, we used speed two, didn't even have to go down to speed one. And we didn't need turbo mode either. So we really wanted to use that to see if it would do it without turbo mode driving those seven inch fasteners. Now, if you jumped up to 10 inch fasteners, would you need turbo mode? Maybe, but again, we wanted to use something that is pretty typical and jumping up to 10 inch fasteners is just not very common as it is with your you know, five, six, seven inch and four inch fasteners that are used quite a bit. Now, as far as drilling with a two and nine sixteenths inch bit, well, first let's talk about the seven eighths inch auger. That was no problem whatsoever. It drove through that uh, very easily with no problem at all. Now the two and nine sixteenths, that always gives every drill a fit. In fact, we used it today and not only could the flex not do it in speed two, but neither did any of the other hammer drills on our wall make it through that either in high speed. So that's something that is, you know, pretty common not to be able to accomplish. Now, there may be better bits out there, but this is the bit we use, the two and nine sixteenths, and we used it on all the different drills that we tried here. We typically like to do in a standalone review, especially the first review, really not do comparisons to other tools, but we will come back and compare both the impact driver and the hammer drill. Now you can get the FX1271 from Flex. You can get the 24 volt drill from Lowe's. I believe it's 249 for the kit with the five amp hour battery and the charger. Now you can step up to the kit with the impact driver, the quick eject impact driver, which we've already reviewed that as well. You'll have a link in the description. Uh, with the hammer drill and the charger, two and a half amp hour battery and the five amp hour battery all for 349. So just the drill is going to cost you $249, but, just, but the drill and impact driver, the two batteries, and the charger is only going to cost you $349. That's probably the better deal. Also, you're going to get a five-year warranty with this. However, big asterisk, this year, 2021, now until the end of 2021, Flex will upgrade you to a lifetime warranty on the tool and the battery, all you have to do is go to their website and sign up, or you can call a 1-800 number. So check that out at flexpowertools.com. Also check them out at Lowe's. Hey, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you don't mind, would you also hit that like and subscribe button, but only if you like this video. By all means, if you didn't like our video, give us that thumbs down. But have a great day and keep smiling.